So, this is a statement by the Supreme Personality of God, Bhagavan Gita. Uh, yeah. Even not this body, the first instruction for spiritual understanding is to know that I am not this body. This is the beginning. Uh, the so-called yogis, they are exercising the body, studying the psychology of the mind <coughs> by charge, by so many humbug, but our pleasure that we are not this body. And what is the question of exercising the body and spiritual realization? If I am not this body, then how I can realize myself simply by some gymnastic process? So this is the mistake. The Kulmis, Gyanis and the Yogis. The Kulmi is purity worker, materialistic person. They want bodily comforts. The only idea is how to get the best comfort of this body. This body means the senses. You have got uh, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, tongue, and genital, so many senses we have got. So as soon as we are in the bodily concept of life, immediately the necessity is for all senses. But Krishna says to John, that you are not this body. So therefore, my self-interest does not depend on my bodily comfort. They do not know this. Everyone at the present moment in this age, they are only business is how to gratify the sense. Atheistic. Principle. This time there was a great atheist, Chanakapa, Charvam. 
All classes are filled up for their land in India. The Western countries, uh, they have got little information, but uh, in India there was cultivation of all kinds of philosophy. The atheist philosophy was there, Charvak Muni is the uh, chief of the atheist class of philosophers. So he said, hedonism, the Western philosophy is hedonism. That uh, he didn't be merry and enjoy this philosophy. So long you have got this body, he dream, be merry and enjoy. The Charvaguni also said like that. Renam Krishna did not behave. In India, uh, bodily enjoyment means first tongue. Tongue can enjoy everywhere. Here also. Uh, so if we want to control our senses, therefore uh, Bhaktivina Thakur, following the footsteps of previous Acharya, he said that control your tongue. Control your tongue. And in the Bhagavata also he said, other Sri Krishna Ramadi Navabe Grayam Indriya. Without these blind senses, we cannot understand Krishna. We are not perfect. Uh, the senses are so imperfect that you cannot acquire any perfect knowledge, material or spiritual, by the sense. That is not possible. Uh, even if you cannot uh, know perfectly the affairs of this material world, it's like they are studying the moon planet, the nearest planet. Besides this moon planet, there are millions and trillions of other planets. They cannot say anything. Because the senses are imperfect. How you can understand? I can see, say, up to one mile, but when there is question of millions and trillions of miles, how you can use your senses and have the perfect knowledge? So you cannot have a material knowledge perfectly by using these senses. What to speak of? God and spiritual knowledge. <coughs> that is beyond one of the Beyond your conception. <laughs> Therefore, Shastra says, Atha Sri Krishna Namadi Navavi Vyayam Indriya. If you want to know God by mental speculation, that is Frog Pillar, Dr. Frog, <laughs> calculating Atlantic Ocean, sitting down in the well. <laughs> this is called drop. <coughs> then, how it is possible to understand? The next line is, Sevan Mukhehi Jivhano Sanyame Vasudha. If you employ your tongue in the service of the law, he will reveal himself to you. He will reveal. Revelation. So therefore, you have to control the tongue. Uh, what is the tongue business? The tongue business is test and vibrate. <coughs> so you vibrate in service of the Lord, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna means O Krishna, or the energy of the Lord. Kindly engage me in your service. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. This is the meaning of Hare Krishna. It has no other meaning. Oh, my Lord Krishna, and oh, the energy of Krishna, Prahlad especially. Finally, 
both of you and give me your service. As Narthanga Thakur said, Haha Prabhu Nanda Sutta Brisham Hanu Sutta Dhrita. My Lord Krishna, uh, you are well known as the son of Nanda Mahara. And your eternal concert, Radharani, she is also known as the daughter of King Vishavan. <coughs> so both of you are here. Aha Prabhu Nanda Sutta Vishavanu Sutta. Karuna Palahe Iva. Now I have come to you. Please, both of you, be merciful Lord. This is her uh, Be merciful Lord. Narottama dasa kahe na chayyo na na kahe. You are lotus feet, young one. Don't neglect me uh, or push away with your lotus feet. Uh, I think if Krishna kicks and push away, uh, that is our great problem. You see, if Krishna kicks with his lotus feet, he well, uh, that is also great. Uh, what to speak of accepting? Uh, reply when Krishna was kicking on the hood of the Kaliya. So the Kaliya's wife prayed, uh, My dear sir, I do not know this country, Kaliya. How he began so fortunate that his food is being kicked by you. Uh, your touch of lotus feet, great great sin is scientific personal, uh, trying to meditate upon millions of years, but this uh, Kaliya, I do not know, what did he do in his past life that is fortunate that his food is being kicked by him. So, or, this is our condition that uh, we cannot understand Krishna by our mental situation, limited. That is not possible. We have to engage. Seva Mogi is Jiva, though. Beginning from Jiva, from Tam. Tam is the greatest enemy, and he is the greatest friend of uh, If you allow the tongue to do whatever it likes, uh, smoking, drinking, eating meat and this and that, then it is your greatest enemy. And if you do not allow the tongue, you can control the tongue, then you can control all the senses. Automatically. Jūhāvati lobhamāya sudhūrūvati tāre jetā kothīna samujāya Krishna mara dayāmāya kulīvāre jūhāya saprasāt anna dila bhāya shai prasāt anna pā rādhā krishna guna bhā pramedā kothi dhanna. So tongue should be used always uh, for glorifying the Supreme Lord. That is our business, is the tongue. And the tongue should not be allowed to anything except Krishna Prasad. Then he will become liberated. Simply by controlling the tongue. Uh, and if you allow the tongue to do anything, then it is very difficult. So the spiritual education, as Krishna says, begins when you understand that I'm not this body, and satisfying the senses is not my business, because I'm not this body. If I am not this body, why shall I bother myself to satisfy the body or body needs the senses? 
This is the first thing. Uh, so the karmis, jnanis, yogis, they are all trying to satisfy the demands of the Lord. The karmis are directly doing that. Um, we drink, we marry and jnanis. They are pleasant. Jnanis um, is also is simply trying to understand that I am not this boy. Neti, 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 neti. This is not, this is not, this is not, this is not. The yogi, they are also trying to uh, come to the point of controlling the senses by body exercise. So their central activity is body. Central activity is body. And our philosophy is believing that you are not this one. When they will pass their examination and studying this body, then they may be able to understand what is their function. But our philosophy begins that you are not this body. post You are not this body. That is Krishna's instruction. Uh, we have seen so many big, big politicians and scholars in India. They write comments on Bhagavad Gita, but they write on this body concept of life. We have seen in our country, the Kira, Mahatma Gali, his photo is in Bhagavad Gita. But what did he do? He has his whole life, his body, because I am India. I am India. Nationalism means that's bodily concept of life. I am India. I am American. I am Canadian. But we are not this body. Then where is the question of I am Indian, I am American, I am Canadian? So they have no this knowledge, the bodily concept of life, they have jaw and is still there. Authority of Bhagavad Gita. Just see the fun. And Bhagavad Gita teaches in the beginning, you are not this body. And they are in the bodily concept of life, that just try to understand what is their position. What they can understand Bhagavad Gita. If one is feeling that I belong to this nation, I belong to this family, I belong to this community, I belong to this cult, I belong to this, I belong to this religion, everything is bodily concept of God. The yogi is there also trying to understand by body exercise. The yogi is also trying to know understand fully that I am not this body. <coughs> and the Kormi, they cannot understand. They are as animals. The animal cannot understand that he is not God. Uh, so, uh, actually, the Kormis, Ganis, Jogis have a little maybe elevated than the animals. That's all. They are on the animal platform. But it is little elevated. Uh, so I give this example, perhaps you heard it, that the dry side of the stool uh, in India, the past stool on the open field. So at the end of the day, because there is sunshine, the upper side of the stool becomes dry. And the lower side is still moist. So somebody says, this side is very good. <laughs> <laughs> and the heat of the room is too dark at all. <laughs> and this side or that side. <coughs> so these are scared. They are on the bodily concept of life and they are thinking, that I am nationalist, I am yogi, I am this, I am that, I am that. 
This is different. So now you are in the bodily concept of life. You are no better than them. That is the Mahabhakti. You are right. The Shaka would be Kunape Pidhakuti. The Shaka would be Kunape Pidhakuti. Sadi Kamatra, this is always the deed. The people would be Salilena Kalahiti, Janisu, Avikisu, Sayyiko, Goka. So, Gokara means, Go means thou, Kara means as. Anyone. So, who is that? That just shanta would be kunapiti bhakti. This bag of tridha, kohopitta body. He one thing that I have this body. I have this body. And in body relation, because in body relation I have got my family, society, children, wife, country, and therefore they are mine. So this shanta will be kuna be pita. Sadi. Sadi mani thinking they are mine. And uh, sadi kalatra di su. Uh, kalatra means wife. Through wife we get children. We expand. This asking word is three. Three means expand. I remain one. As soon as I get wife, I get become two. Then three, then four, then five, like that. that is called three. So, power expansion. These expansion, this material expansion, bodily expansion means in Janasamohoya Ahamati. This illusion increases. That as this body and in body the relation. Everything is more. All more. All means I and more means more. Uh, so, so long one shall remain in the bodily concept of life, his illusion will increase. It is never decreased. Uh, therefore, the first instruction of Krishna told John. Uh, because if Arjuna would not have been in that position of illusion that I am this body and the other side, my brother, my grandfather, my nephew, they are all my relations. How can I kill this illusion? Therefore, to dissipate this illusion, darkness, Krishna began the first lesson that you are not this body. Dehinas in the Thali, Kaumara Jodhana, Tathadi, Antaram Prati. You have to change this body, as you have already changed. Uh, you have already changed. You are a baby, you change your body uh, to child, you change your body. To buy, you change your body, to use it, you change your body. Old man, old man. Now, after changes of it, as you have already changed so many times, similarly, there is another change. You have to accept another body. <coughs> Very simple logic. You have already changed. <laughs> so, Tathadi Antram Prati Dhirastati because there is the bodily concept of life and this body. And the body has no change. Uh, uh, body is changing, is seeing actually in this life. It still will not believe that after changing this body, I will get another body. It is very logical. They in us change the Tade, Kumar, the Buddha, Tathade, Exactly in the same way as we have changed so many times. His body, I will have to change. Therefore, one who is intelligent, uh, he should try to understand that what kind of body I am going to get next. 
That is it. But that is also explained in the world. What kind of body you can get? If you want to go to the high planetary system where demigods live for hundreds and thousands and millions of years, uh, just like Brahma, Brahma is one day you cannot kind of calculate. <coughs> Um, so in higher planetary system we have got thousands and thousands of better facilities for sense gratification and the duration of life, everything. Otherwise, why the Kormis they want to go to the heavenly planet? So Janti Deva Prata Deva. So if you try to go to the higher planetary system, you can go. There is process. That's why right. for going to the moon planet, one must be uh, very expert in the karma kanda, creative activity. Uh, by karma kanda, you get by the result and action of the past activity, you can be promoted to the moon planet. That is mentioned in the Bhagavad But you cannot enter the moon planet by your this process, by force we shall go with this uh, aeroplane and jets and food. Suppose if I have got a uh, nice motor car in America, if I want to enter in another country more simply, is it possible? No. <laughs> you must get the support visa, you must get sanction from the government, then you can. Not because that you have got a very good car, you will. So we cannot by force. This is foolish attempt, childish attempt. Therefore, nowadays they stop, they do not speak. Uh, they are realizing, they are telling you. In this way, you cannot. So, but there is possibility you can go to uh, a car, the real process, you can be somewhat. Similarly, uh, you can go to the Gitri Loga uh, by opening Sartha and Sinda. You can go to the Gitri Loga. Similarly, you can remain in this Loga, Bhutejya. Uh, Similarly, you can go back to home. So, who is intelligent? And he will ask, so what is the benefit by going? to the planet, back to home, back to body. Uh, that is assured in the Bhagavad Gita. Mahupeta Pontya Dukkhalaya Madhasadam Nāpluvati If you come to me, then you won't have to accept again this material body, which is full of middle of He will remain in the spiritual body. So our Krishna consciousness moment is meant for uh, allowing, elevating all living entities. So it is not for all. Uh, it is very difficult. But anyone who has accepted this Krishna consciousness moment, if he follows uh, the principle, then he is surely going to home, back to home, back to God. There is a... <coughs> and if you deviate, if you become attracted by Maya, that is your mm-hmm. But we are giving you information. This is the process, a simple process. Chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, be purified, we uh, remain always liberated from material classes. And if you simply try to understand Krishna, then Taktadi Ham, after quitting this body, Mahavi, he will come to me. So, this is our philosophy, it is very simple. 
and everything is explained in the Bhagavad Gita, you try to realize and preach this kind for the benefit of the whole world, um, then everyone will be happy. Thank you.
Oh, 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 oh,